Hey guys, Mark here from Mark's O Scale Trains. Uh, today I wanted to do a quick video showing you guys how to, uh, for those of you that don't know, how to upgrade your DCS unit, your TIU, and your remote to the current software that is offered uh, by MTH. In this case, it happens to be upgrading to 5.0. 5.0, as we know, you need to have that on your system in order to use the new DCS Wi Fi setup. So I'll walk you through real easy. It's a simple uh, procedure to update both your remote and your TIU and hopefully uh, this will help. A couple other items that you do need to have when you're updating. If you have the older version TIU that has the 9 port serial adapter so you don't have the USB uh, connection on it, what you're going to need to get is you're going to need to get a USB to 9 pin serial adapter that's what you're going to need right there on one end so that you can hook this into your TIU and then the other end is a USB connection into your computer whether it's your laptop or whether it's your desktop if you don't have a serial port on the uh, on the computer itself an, another nine pin uh, serial port then you do need to get a USB and a serial port uh, adapter like I have here you also need a mini stereo cable which you can see the ends here. There's two ends there. And you need the old fashioned, we remember these, that's your phone cord. So that's a standard telephone receiver cord that you need to plug into the TIU to update or, and, and the remote to update the remote. But that's all you need right there. You can pick these up, Radio Shack, Walmart, Best Buy, your local train store, it's where I got mine from. They'll range in price. You can find them for a couple dollars on eBay. I happen to pay $12.99 for this one. You'll find some for $25. Bucks. You just want to make sure, in this case, they recommend having it be a, a USB 2.0 to serial cable adapter. And uh, that should work fine for you. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to MTH's site and download their consumer loader program. That's going to put the software on your computer that you need to then download their software and upload that to your TIU and remote. If you're not real computer savvy and you need somebody to help you out with that, ask your kids, ask the neighbor kid, whomever, to help you get this on, uh, on your computer. But once it's on your computer, you'll be able then to download just the updates and update your TIU and your remote. And like I said, it's pretty simple to do once you get this on your computer. And as you can see here at the bottom, you'll see the DCS loader program installation operating instructions. You'll see the DCS loader program and then also the uh, the new version 5.0 DCS software there. Those are That's what you need uh, to put on your computer. So just follow the instructions once you start to download it. And once it is on your computer, you could proceed to updating your TIU and your remote. Okay, I'm going to upgrade the TIU first. And one of the first steps you want to do is you want to take the mini stereo cable. Uh, you want to hook that up. As you see it here on the top, you want to make sure that it's in both of those inputs. And the mini, mini stereo cable can also be bought at Radio Shack or wherever you happen to go for your electronics. But you want to make sure that that's connected. And then the next step is I will hook up the, uh, the input right there where it says PC input, the 9-pin serial adapter. I'll hook that up, and then I'll proceed with the, uh, with the download. Okay, one side note that I did forget to mention. If you are using a USB to serial port cable like I'm doing right here, you're going to need to power the TIU. I have a separate Z, uh, uh, Z1000 brick that I'm using to power into the uh, auxiliary power input that's giving the power to the TIU. If you're using a USB to a USB, you've got one of the newer TIUs, you're not going to need to do that. But the one thing you want to do is disconnect it from your track, all your outputs. That's what I do. I take everything off uh, so that there's no connection to the track, no other power source or anything interfering with it. Um, the one I have on my layout I leave it mounted to the wall, I just disconnect everything, and then I proceed with the, uh, with the download. But, just wanted to mention, if you are using a USB to a serial, you're going to need to power it with uh, any, any source, whether it be a, a brick of, 
uh, this size or, or whatever you have to power the unit. Okay, now I'm pretty much ready to go. So once I have all the software downloaded onto my computer, I've already got the uh, MTHDCS consumer loader uh, program onto my computer with the software. I'm going to click the uh, button over here that says system and this screen will come up and it's going to walk you through. It's going to tell you exactly what you need to do. It'll give you instructions there and then you just hit start. And then it's going to ask you to find where you put the newest software. And on mine, I believe I've got it on my desktop somewhere. So I'm going to go to desktop. And I'm going to, oh, there it is right there. It was actually right there. I'm just going to double click on that. And it's, uh, it's finding uh, the TIU on COM6 is what it says. And as you can see, it is starting to update my TIU. And we'll let that, uh, we'll let that walk through. And it does tell you it's typically less than 1.5 minutes. And guys, this is it. This is all you need to do to update your software. There's no need. Some guys are... Some guys bring their stuff into their train stores and, and they feel better about doing that, that's fine. But this is really all you need to do. There's nothing else to it. And uh, sending the code to the TIU is complete. And it'll tell you to remove the Proto Audio Jack Jumper and unplug the USB cable uh, or remove the power to finish. So basically that's all you need to do. I'm just going to hit OK. I'm going to unplug everything, hit, hit OK, and then that's it. And, and now my TIU is, is, is updated. All right, then the next step is just going right up here and hitting the uh, symbol that shows the, uh, the remote. You just click on that and it's going to tell you it's going to send the code to the remote. And it's, it says follow these power-up instructions in sequence and press start when ready. So basically that's going to be it. We're going to make sure that we have the remote with the phone cable. The phone cable is going to be hooked into the remote and it's also going to be hooked into the uh, remote input jack. You do not want to hook it up to the AIU side. Uh, you don't want to damage anything. So just make sure that when you're hooking it up, you're going right into the uh, remote input. And then the procedure is basically going to be the same. You're going to see it right on the screen. It's going to walk you right through what to do. And I'll start mine up here in a second. Okay, now for the remote. I've got everything hooked back up to the TIU. I've got my 9-pin uh, to USB uh, plugged in. I've got the power from the Z1000 powering the TIU because we are, again, using this type of cable, which you do need to power uh, the TIU separately. I've got the phone cord from the remote input to the bottom of the remote control itself. Remote is off, and it's ready to go and ready to be updated. So basically we'll come over here and it's going to tell us that we will be instructed to hold down the power button on the DCS handheld remote. And when you do this, you have to hold it down for a little while. So, you know, get your finger, your thumb or whatever ready because you don't want to let it go until it's complete. So now I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to hit start. And that's what it says. Make sure the remote tether cable is plugged into the TIU remote jack, plugging the remote uh, tether cable into the AIU jack will cause damage to the remote. So make sure you don't do that. Okay, then you hit OK. And you're going to have to find the remote program and it comes right up. Mine's right here. I, I usually save everything to my desktop. And there it is. So I'm going to double click on that. And it says right here, it says press and hold down the power button on the remote. Press OK when ready or cancel to abort. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out how to do this. Okay, I'm gonna actually have to set this down for a second. I'm gonna set, okay, I'm back. Um, needed a third hand here, but basically, I'm holding down the power button on the remote. Okay, and uh, it's, it's updating. So it says less than five minutes, typically less than five minutes 
to update the remote. So you gotta hold it down a little bit. A lot of people tend to hold it real hard, but just hold it consistently so that you're not gonna release the power button and disrupt the, uh, the, up, the update. You'll see that green bar there is gonna go all the way to the end and then we'll be done with the update. Okay, there I am at about, uh, just about 100%. And there it is. Took about three, three and a half minutes. Uh, actually took four minutes for it to, uh, to update. And uh, my thumb is getting a little tired. I think I was holding down on the button a little too, a little too hard. Uh, so just be prepared for that. But basically that says that it was sending, uh, that it was uh, completed to send the code to the remote and uh, release the power button on the remote, remove the remote, input telephone style cable and unplug the USB cable direct, blah, blah, blah. And that's it. And that's really all that you do need to do when you're updating to 5.0 or whatever the, uh, the current, uh, current software is. I'm gonna remove all this, then I'm gonna turn on the remote and we should see, uh, we should see 5.0 here. And there it is. 5.0 on the remote. It's that simple. It's uh, kind of fun to do. You know, I, I like to be able to have full control over some of the stuff that I do with the uh, with the trains and updating the software on this. You don't need to be afraid to do this. You just need to follow the instructions on the computer and uh, make sure all the programs are downloaded. Get help with that if you need it. But again, simple to do. And I would definitely recommend though getting a, a, a cable such as this one here. I'll try to get a little bit closer shot just to show you guys what I do have um, for the uh, USB to a serial cable adapter it worked pretty flawlessly that's the part number that I used and that's the the company and uh, I mean it worked so I'm all set ready to go so I can use this with the Wi-Fi it's got the current software and uh, that's it I hope this helped you guys uh, if you guys have any questions definitely feel free to uh, to hit me up here on either on Facebook or on YouTube. I'd be happy to happy to help, but uh, I hope this helped.